Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Horizon Workrooms. And it's a kind of like an early look at what the metaverse could be. So what Horizon Workrooms is, is it's a tool built for emulating or creating a kind of virtual desk and combining it with a physical space. So what I've done, it's asked me to do is to set up a desk. So I've actually mapped out my tangible desk here. So as I'm touching it, and you can see through the pass-through that I'm physically hitting the desk and it's actually where it's supposed to be. But it allows me to remotely work on my computer. I can have collaborative meetings in using this system, very similar to Spatial I.O. And it's built very much for a kind of sit-down experience. So to begin with, I'm just going to go through the kind of what it is, what you can do with it, a kind of overview of the software. Uh, at the moment, it is in beta and it does only work on the Quest 2. So I'm just going to use my hands to begin with. So I'm going to go to settings and just show you. So it uses your avatar. So this is a quick avatar created. It doesn't exactly look like me. I need to tweak him. But if I had other people in my shared workspace, we can see each other and communicate using these tools. Um, it's obviously mapped my desk. So if I go to desk, uh, what it can do, and what is quite cool, is it can actually track keyboards, or I should say certain types of keyboards. So what I have here is this MacBook keyboard. And hopefully it should detect it. If it doesn't, I'm just going to go to track to keyboard and choose the type of keyboard. So as you can see here, we've only got a list of three options at the moment. I'm going to choose the Magic Keyboard, because that's the closest, and I'm using a European layout. There we go. And oh, let's just give it a second to refresh. So it's not the most accurate at this, but it kind of does a quite a good job. And it does pick it up. There we go. And as you can see, the keys are slightly off. Give it a second to refresh. Sometimes you have to, there we go. So as you can see here, it's overlaid all the keys. So A, Shift, Enter, Space. So I can actually theoretically utilize this keyboard um, as if, you know, using tangible keys. And the reason that's important is because we can connect it to a computer. So uh, I'm just going to quickly confirm this application. There we go. And just go back to my workspace. So I'm just going to quickly swap over and get my mouse. So grab my mouse. That's one thing I forgot to uh, set up. There we go. So I've got my mouse. My keyboard is tracked already. And yeah, so I can see my desktop. I can launch applications. So I could, for example, theoretically edit a video or do some design work on Photoshop. Um, this works with Macs and PCs, although again, it is still a beta at the moment. So I could theoretically open one of these applications up, start typing. Let's see if we can open up Notepad. Just going to grab my mouse again. The one thing I wish it could do is track the mouse, which it can't do. So open up Notepad. The keyboard be redetected because it's a little bit uh, off center. There we go. So I should be able to type hello world. How are you today? There we go. So you can see I can theoretically type um, using this pass through. But this is kind of what the metaverse or the idea of the metaverse is supposed to be, or this combination of combining the tangible with the virtual. So workrooms is idea is you can be at a desk, you can still receive notifications, you can customize your layouts, your workspace using your actual physical tools without having to take off a headset. And then as soon as you need to go into a meeting without having to physically be in location, obviously with things like what happened last year with viruses, etc., uh, that's not always an option. So what you can do is you can go home, you can check what's in your today list or what you've got in your schedule. Uh, I've got no meetings today, but I've got this workroom. And this workroom is a, a 
a space that always exists. I can add users to it. I can enter that workroom and other people can enter it too. So even if they don't have a Quest 2 headset, they can actually uh, video call into it. And I'll show you that, that in a second. So it does take a little bit of time to load up that space. So there we go. So I'm now in my workroom. And what this means is I can basically, if there's other people in the meeting, I, they can be, I'll see their avatars sat at their corresponding seats. We have this sort of screen here. So anybody who's on video call, like Microsoft Teams, we have this kind of split view where we can, they can talk and we can collaborate that way. Um, if I'm not happy with the room's layout, I can actually go to seating layout and I can change the layout of the room. So let's say I want a bit more of a kind of conversation set up. We can have a sort of circle. And again, people on the video call there. Or if we want to have a kind of presentation, like a lecture, we could go to the presentation view. And what this means now is we're all sat in this row and we can kind of see each other, gesture to each other, whilst also the person at the front can write on this whiteboard and people can watch from their screens over there. So let me just come back out of that. I can still pick up my desktop so I could still see my desktop whilst I'm sat here in a meeting with everybody else. Everybody can have their own little desktops being viewed at the same time. So we can still continue working whilst in this meeting. If I don't like, if I want to mute my microphone, I can always mute my microphone. Or if I don't like where I'm sat, I can switch and sit somewhere else. So again, using my hands, I'm not using the controls for this. I can just sort of reposition myself as I see fit. Now, the kind of cool thing about this is, is largely this sort of whiteboard idea. Now, oh, so I have a whiteboard obviously in front of us, but down here I have a desk whiteboard. And let me just move my keyboard out of the way and grab one of my controllers. So. By default, you can see here that um, we have to use our controls, by the way, for this. We have this whiteboard here, but I can scroll along there to move left or right. Or if I go to settings here, I can create or share whiteboards. So I could share this whiteboard with other users. Or I could create a new whiteboard for myself. And down here, I can use a pen tool. So it's going to want me to first clear my desk, which is what I've done. And then I just, using the bottom of my controller, draw a circle with the around like so. There we go. And now I can start drawing onto my table so I can go, hello, for example. I can choose my color, I can do some little doodles. I can erase anything, so I can just click to delete. And again, because I'm showing my whiteboard, everyone can see it in the room. Oh, uh, continue drawing. So I can select things if I put it in my space. Just reset the desk for a second. Uh, no. So if I've got any images, I can even share them. So within our space, I could let me just reset my desk. It's uh, having a bit of a problem. Picking up my space. There we go. It's slightly a kilter. So I could actually share files from my work group. And what this does is it allows me on my computer to upload files. So I can upload files from my computer, from my Dropbox, from Google Drive, etc. And I'm just going to grab my mouse. So let's say I upload an image from my computer. See if we've got anything on here that we can use. Say so we choose this uh, logo here. I can upload that file. There we go. And it now appears in my workroom. Grab these in the wrong hands. <laughs> it's a little bit fiddly as you can kind of see, but you get used to it. Uh, you can select your image from there. 
position it on your board. So you could, each user can add files to this workroom and they can create a presentation where you can kind of, you know, highlight things. Now, if I'm sat here and I want to sort of point something out, I can press the trigger and I'll use like a laser pointer. So sort of like, say, can you describe this for me more or talk about this? Anybody can do that. I can resize these images. So just grab one of these handles here so I can resize the image like so. And again, we can share any files or notes collaboratively within this sort of bar here. You can always undo everything, obviously, as well, like so. Now, let's say I want to be given the presentation. I don't want to just be sit here. I want to actually be up at the front talking to everybody. I can do that. So I can go over here to go to whiteboard. Now, first thing it's going to ask me to do is set up my space. So I've already drawn this whiteboard, but I can reposition it if I'm not happy with it by simply grabbing this handle here, move it to where I want it to be, let's say here. Now, ideally it wants me to stand up and walk to a wall and draw on the wall. I'm not going to do that for this video, so I'm just going to click here, confirm position, stand at whiteboard, okay, continue. Now I'm at the board. I can still choose where I want to stand, so I can use little feet icons on the floor to teleport myself around. But like we did with the little desktop board, I can just grab my pen, choose my colour, and then write on the wall like before. And again, if you actually map your whiteboard to a flat surface on a wall, you'd actually be able to get a better kind of feel from it. And again, we can still go to images and files and upload files from our shared space like before. So I can stand up here, give my presentation, talk about whatever it is I want to talk about. Then when I've given my presentation, I can go back to my desk, and sit back down, put my controls back down. And we're back to using our hands and grab my mouse. Go back to my workroom here and continue like so. Now, the other cool thing is if people, like I said, if people are using their webcams or microphones, they'd be on that screen over there. They'd still be able to see everything that happens in this meeting, but they can also t communicate via this chat room here. So they can share emot emoticons, they can add files or uh, stickers here. They can have a chat box so they could type in messages. And we haven't tested this out, so let's see how this goes. Let's just turn the pass through on just to make things of life a bit easier. And let's send that. And I wonder if we can bring up that chat box within this space anywhere. So I'm not really quite familiar enough with this yet. So let's see if we can. So back to room. Room details, files and chat. Uh, now it appears that sadly the chat does seem to be limited to our desktop view. It doesn't seem to be showing up anywhere. It'd be quite nice if there's like a little window here that was always there that had the chat box on. But again, this is beta that might be added in time. Uh, but we can still check things like meetings or schedules. We can take screenshots of our desktop. We can share our screen. So I could share my screen onto the whiteboard so everybody sat down and can see what I see. Uh, anybody can do that within the meeting. Obviously, depending on the admin's rights, so as the admin or creator of the room, I have full control of everything in that regard. I can increase the screen size for myself so I can make it bigger for me to see what I'm doing or make it smaller. And at any time, I can disconnect or stop sharing like so. And then when I want to leave my meeting space, I can just exit the room. This room, everything in that room is saved. So everything's still stored there. I can always go back into it later. And now I'm back at my desk, can do my work and continue with my day. So this has been Horizon's Workrooms. It's a, you can, it's a kind of glimpse at this idea of bringing the tangible with the virtual to change the way we work, the way we communicate, the way we express ourselves. And this is a sit down experience, although you can stand up to do the presentations, obviously when you're on the whiteboard. Um, but it's a kind of a different application, uh, similar vein to Spatial IO, but more 
collaborative and sit down focus and it does require the facebook account which i suppose now is meta um but yeah beta software really cool a few things i'd like to be t- tweaked accuracy on the keyboards is a little bit off especially because mine's a full size not a partial size so i think that causes some of the issues um turn that off for example but yeah it's got great potential i really like the idea of it I can move my keyboard around um so remember, if you've got if anything you want to see or us to showcase, always comment down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.